Simon Shield here with a review of Dragon's Dogma 2. Dragon's Dogma 2 is an action role-playing video game developed and published by Capcom and is the sequel to the original Dragon's Dogma 1 that came out in 2012. In it, you're placed in a fantasy-themed world known as the Arisen, an individual granted powers by a dragon who has stolen your heart, setting your destiny to a final showdown between you and the dragon. Assisting you in this journey are allies known as pawns who join your party. Each Arisen is granted one pawn and is able to recruit two other pawns from other players' Arisens. The pawns themselves are AI controlled and assist in fights, provide info on enemies they have fought before, and give guidance on quests they have completed. Both the Arisen and the pawn have access to a variety of classes known as vocations with different abilities, strengths, and weaknesses. The game encourages you to level each vocation as some traits are able to be transferred to other vocations. There are special vocations that are exclusive to the Risen, such as the Trickster, the Mystic Archer, Warfare, and the Mystic Spearman. The game starts out with you in a prison camp with no knowledge of who you are, what you what you are and why you're there from a series of events you discover that you are the arisen a sovereign of the land who had their memory wiped and replaced by a puppet figure by your political rival from there you set out to reclaim your throne and discover the secret behind civilians being able to command pawns like the arisen overall i found the story itself to be similar to dragon's dogma one the usual the dragon steals your heart the big bad ch you chase is killed by the dragon da 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 you're given a choice about continuing to or ending the cycle. Dragon sacrifices your beloved, blah, 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 blah. There are some variations and more lore introduced, but overall, I felt the story was copy and pasted from Dragon's Dogma 1. The ending itself also put me off slightly as I felt I was being lectured like a child for choosing to end the cycle. There is a romance system in the game, but it's very basic and nothing really comes from it aside from the cutscene. For example, when the dragon itself threatened my beloved, the, the character in, it, in its grasp was not the character I romanced and shared a night at the beach with, but my sorcerer mentor that I attacked and killed and revived by accident 10 hours prior when I tried to break into their house. Needless to say, it gave me some confusion when the dragon told me I had to decide to let him live or die. Gameplay wise, the world itself is vibrant and beautiful. The combat itself is enjoyable and I had fun using the different vocations and fighting the various creatures. Some of my favorite moments are traveling just down paths from town to town, place to place, fighting and exploring along the way. In my opinion, the game truly thrives when you are just exploring and spending time by the campfire with your pawns. The combat itself is also very similar to Dragon's Dogma 1. Creatures have weaknesses and weak points, such as the Cyclops' eyes or the Griffin's wings. Having played Dragon's Dogma 1 the month prior, I will say, however, I'm not impressed with the enemy variety. The original game came out in 2012 and 2 has been in development for 5 years. Aside from the graphics change, the combat with enemies, including the boss masters, are pretty much the same as Dragon's Dogma 1. Given the time between games, I expected more additions to the enemy combat. One example is combating the Cyclops. Like the original, they protect their eye as it is their main weak point by wearing armor or covering with one hand. The attacks consist on swinging a club or hand or smashing the ground in front of them or jumping up and sitting on their butt. I wanted more variety to these familiar combats such as maybe grabbing objects, enemies, tossing them, maybe using cover or re-equipping armor, maybe knocking a tree over or using a new weapon. Like in 2012, for combat wise you are stuck with 4 skills out of the 10 plus skills you can unlock for each vocation. To me as a as a gamer in 2024, I felt this is very limiting, and I do not see why Capcom could not add a second set of skills, for example, like what Dragon Age Inquisition does, so you could use more of those skills and spells you unlock. The skills and spells themselves are also the same as the original, and I felt nothing new was really added to them. Now we address the dragon in the room. Yes, this game has microtransactions. No, I do not agree or support these microtransactions, and I would prefer if they didn't exist. However, I would like to point out there is a difference in the way the microtransactions are done. During my playthrough of this game, at no point did I feel the need or was encouraged to buy any of the microtransactions. I always had a fairy stone on hand when I needed to fast travel, and I always had a waystone ready for a boss fight. The microtransactions in this game do not impede your progress, unlike other games where you pay to decrease the crafting time, for example. Overall, Dragon's Dogma 2 is a mixed bag for me. On one hand, I enjoyed the gameplay traveling and exploring the world. On the other hand, looking closer into the game, I feel like this is not a sequel, but more of a remake of a good classic. The story is similar, the enemies in combat are similar, the pawns are similar, even the menu feels like it's from 2012 where the B button doesn't end a conversation but just moves to the cancel option. Given that it's been 12 years since the original game and has, it's been in development for 5 years, I feel like there's a lot of small quality of life updates that could have been included, such as the B button ending conversations, an option to remove the headgear while in conversations or cutscenes. But the developers chose to take the easy route by copying the original game and making slight tweaks to the game while updating the graphics. In the end, I give this game a 6 out of 10 Steves. 
for the gameplay only. If you like Dragon's Dogma 1, and want more of it, I would get this game. If you have never heard or tried this game, I would recommend buying the original as it's far cheaper. I believe currently it's roughly $10 compared to the $70 game for a similar experience with lower graphics. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And if you like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends. I live stream, I live stream games that I'm reviewing on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. And then on Saturdays, I play old RPGs. Until next time, bye-bye for now.